Hello everyone and welcome back to Panthea. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and like try this thing proper now. So... We've done the Magic Academy. We've done the Desert. Oh, there's two of them here. Oh! Wait, where is this? Oh, this place! This is that, like, underground cave area. Yeah, deep mines. And suck off. Okay. That's a sphinx. We have not found the, um... The, the stone for the ma uh, for the for the mountain climb yet I guess I should just go back to Athens for now then yeah again the dev told me that this one is kind of supposed to be done last but now nah, whatever I think I'm pretty good so what kind of enemies we got here well of course we know what kind of enemies we got here but like lots of stuff is weak to earth and dark earth dark and ice. Yeah, okay, let's equip some Earth, Dark, and Ice weapons. That's Earth Elemented. Let's put the that back on you. Then for you, um... I guess maybe the Javelin again, because I really like the Javelin, personally. Okay, okay. Let's continue on with Athens. I think I've explored everything in this, like, starting area. Oh, this looks kind of cool, actually. Is that the same jellyfish enemy? Hello? I don't think they can hear me. I can see the future. A great catastrophe will befall upon us. Thanks for the heads up! <laughs> I can't wait for the next show. The last one was so boring. Come, everybody. Try our new perfume. Make the ladies fall out to your feet with this new magic essence, crafted from the purest and rarest of materials. It can be all yours for the bargain of 10,000 gold. So Andromeda, how do you feel? I feel like punching your face. The smell is really strong. It feels like tree bark and donkey shit. You shouldn't trust every street peddler you see. Especially, uh, especially dead ones. Stay clear of the... Theatron? When there is a play happening. Oh, say... That person's alive. Save me, Perseus. I'm so helpless without you. I, Perseus, shall slay your mo uh, your monster and save my people from your wrath. Can we go away, please? Yeah, this guy's acting is terrible. Fair not, Andromeda, my darling. You will be safe. Did you say her name? That's, uh, that's more than one Andro- There's more than one Andromeda in the world. Oh, darling, with flaming long red hair, I will save you from these chains. I think he's talking about you. I didn't know you were famous. They make plays about anything here in Ath Athea. Who is this Perseus? The guy who saved me from a monster. I was chained to a stone to be sacrificed. He saved me. He's also my husband. I didn't know you were married. Well, that depends if he survived, right? I don't like to talk uh, talking about this too much, guys. He wasn't a good guy. Oh no, I, nothing like that. He was a great and I really loved him. It's just that this is, uh, this is just a story showing how ruthless our deities can be. If you do not wish to talk about it, then we shall not bother you with it, right guys? Thank you, Beowulf. He just jumped in the water. <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh, that actually blinded two of our party members. Uh, well, you don't use, um... You don't use physical attacks anyway. That's good. 
That's good. Good, good. That went very well. Man, we got a really good loadout for this. Stay clear of the theater. Oh, it's theater! Okay. Is that like an old word for theater? Huh. Oh my, my pendant fell into the fountain's drain. I hope the plumber can find it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, that was a red herring to trick players. I get it. That's really funny, actually. Oh, yeah, a shiny thing in the pond. I better go look at it. <laughs> it might be the pendant I was just told about. Nope, it's an, it's an encounter. <laughs> I still think that looks like an eggplant. <laughs> it's... I'm gonna have to fight you. Okay, so we found a few mirror pieces in this area. I take it, like, that's that has to do with, like, completing it. Like, maybe I'm gonna fight a, uh, find a mirror at some point, and I gotta, like, fix it. hurt us. <laughs> Ooh! Net throw. We have a spear and a dagger equipped right now. Wait, no, no, we have a spear equipped. Agility down, stun 50%. So it doesn't do damage, but like it really makes it so they can't do much. That's pretty good. That's a big statue. Athena, deity of wisdom. There she is, Athena, deity of wisdom, proudly standing above everyone else. I take it that you don't hold the deities in the highest of steam. I don't think that's how that phrase works. <laughs> highest of steam? I don't... Our deities are a bunch of power-hungry monsters, using their power to control us and forcing us to pray to them. So yes, I don't exactly love them. Sometimes they uh, they test us to see how strong is our strong our resolve is. It's different, okay? That's not uh, how things work around here. You either fear them or they take everything from you. Everything has a reason to happen, and we don't give me this a uh, universe crap, Karna. You guys don't know how it is to live under their rule. If you want, if it wasn't for for the for the fate of the world, I wouldn't be bothered to save them. They could all burn in the pit for all uh, of their own. Tart Tartarus for all I care? Let's just continue. We have work to do. I
Have I missed anything here? Okay, that's just an enemy. That's just an enemy too. went in this house. Let me in, I have to work. Sir, please stay uh, clear of the sewers until we solve the situation. <clears throat> oh, there's a hidden passage there, interesting. Oh, we got switch puzzles. Yeah, because, like, the... Okay, the, um... The, like, bridges and doors are color-coded. Okay, wait, that was a purple switch. I am not the greatest at these types of puzzles, admittedly. But I feel like this one looks small enough that I could probably brute force it. Oh no, that one was red. Okay. Or... Wait. Oh, the switch changes color? How the heck does this work? There's something down there. Guarded by an enemy. Let me double check something real quick. Oh! That opened this up! I don't think you absorb anything. Oh my god! Another- okay. I have a feeling we need those at some point anyway, so I'm glad I took a minute to do that. That one doesn't change color, so I'm assuming that's just something you want on, and that's like a shortcut, maybe. I want to see what's up here before I flip that switch. Oh, there's the dog! Hello, dog. It's incredible that a dog managed to survive. We're definitely taking him back to Alexandria. What's the name on its collar? But you can name the dog? Hmm. Is it a boy dog or a girl dog? Because I I got a name in mind. Should I just call it Game Dog? <laughs> hmm. I 
I got a name, okay. <laughs> So as everyone knows, I'm a big Pokemon fan, um, and as of the time I'm recording this, like, a few days ago, they had, like, this Pokemon Direct where they introduced this, like, new form of Growlithe, um, that has, like, a lot of hair and can barely see, and it looks very cute. <laughs> Call it Growlithe, why not? It's like, Hisuane, Hiswaun, Growlithe or something? I think that's how you spell Growlithe. It, it's, spe it's not spelled how you think it'd be spelled. It's one of those weird names. Growlithe. <laughs> Here, Growlithe, take a bite of this feather. Chi Blast. No one has gloves right now, do they? No, okay, we'll check that out later then, I guess. Dude, my thing, a favorite thing about that announcement. <laughs> I cannot believe what they did to Basculin. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay, I thought the game, like, bugged him, respawned the dog or something. Growlithe, but how did he get back here? Huh. Come here. What the hell was that? I don't think that was a Growlithe. What? Did that damage me too? Oh, this is very intriguing. Um. Okay, okay, so I needed to do that. And then I needed to... Oh, you know what I probably gotta do? I probably have to, like, go out this way. Okay, so I had to go this way anyway. Do I have to find the, uh, find the dog down there again as well? Yeah, that's exactly what I gotta do. Although, oh, I need like a like a pink switch turned off or something. Oh god, I said I'm bad at these types of puzzles. That has to be on or else I can't get out. There's nothing over here, right? No. here too. No.
Okay, okay, so... The red doors need to be up and the pink doors need to be down. Did I just do it? I did it! Oh my god, I... Again, I think I just fumbled my way through that one. Again, I'm not, I'm not really good at those types of puzzles, but we did it. Huh? What is this? Stop that, foul creature. Well, this is annoying. <laughs> Are you done? Here it comes. Doppelganger. No elemental weaknesses, and seems to be immune to all debuffs. Only immune to stun, though. So now you're win elemented? Does that change, like, what you're weak to? Let's find out. I think it does. Okay, I've fought plenty of bosses like this, and I tend to not like them. <laughs> I was gonna start spamming this more, but... Oh my god, okay, that's a lot of status ailments. What? That was the easiest boss yet. I think I just got lucky, though. <laughs> Mutant Skull. What a horrible monstrosity. Acid Solutions. Fi God, he had a lot of these for not using those. This book is talking about a secret library under Alexandria. Maybe we should talk to Sarah about it. And, well, if that's it for this area, let's get out of here. Wait. What? Hello, my dear. How are you feeling? Aunt Sarah, I'm fine. You don't have to lie to me, to me, honey. I've known you since you were a little baby. I just miss them so much. I can't stop thinking. Maybe if I was around... Don't say that, my dear. It's nobody's fault. They would be glad you were able to survive this catastrophe. I know you don't want to be near anyone right now, but I can't let you be all alone here so uncomfortably. There you go. It's not much, but at least you can be a little more comfortable. Thank you, Aunt Sarah. If you ever need anything, please come talk to me. My door is always open. Why did I disappear there? That was a little weird. Oh, the dog is here after all. <laughs> okay, so you don't react to, um, to any of the new stuff I have. Natasha and Gerald. I know Volva's parents before all this. They worked very hard to send their daughter to the Magic Academy. Their fate was terrible. I feel sorry for Volva. Look what I, look what we found. Oh, what is it, sweetie? It talks about an entrance to a library under the house in the middle of part... That puts it in the bathroom. Of course it does. Maybe you should check it uh, for something strange. 
Huh, I'm assuming you can't do this until you get that book. There is a passage. Let's go then. Did that say, let's go with them? Wait, <laughs> what the heck is this? Now look at this place. It's a giant library. That was beneath our feet, the, this was beneath our feet the whole time. Oh, there are monsters down here though. Welcome, human. Hello there, nice to meet you. Oh, you're friendly. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. So what's your name? Karna, what are you doing? I'm talking to my eyeball friend here. That's pretty normal. I don't think he means to hurt us, otherwise he would have already attacked. He is right, I am here to serve you. A long time ago, I helped Metatron. Metatron to gather as much knowledge as possible. Metatron, he's real? Who's Metatron? An archangel that nearly equals God's power. He rarely ever leaves heaven. To some, he is regarded only as a legend. If he is real and, and was corrupted, we are in trouble. Indeed, my master is powerful, but as far as I know, he is not corrupted. How do you know? We're still here, aren't we? He has disappeared. As I was saying, I helped Metatron gather and store as much knowledge as possible. The library was the result of many years of research. It was supposed to be a present to humanity one day. But then God summoned him and, and everything changed. Metatron stopped recording knowledge and began creating it instead. Knowledge of war and, per and powerful tools. He hid this knowledge somewhere in the library. He knew that someday humanity would need this knowledge to defeat the chaos that is coming, or whatever that means. So Metatron knew this was going to happen. All, in the, great deity, all the great deities knew, and Metatron be being the closest to God knew it too. So what is this knowledge he's left for us? Where can we find it? I don't know. I've roamed around the entire library and I couldn't find it. The only thing that ha uh, he has told me about is, is was these gifts can't be found but earned. The library repays knowledge with knowledge. Do you mind if we look around? This library is yours. Feel free to use it as you wish. This is very cool. <laughs> it's... Hello? Oh, you. I hope you don't mind if I come here from time to time to study. I found some interesting books. This library is as yours as it is ours. You are always welcome. Thank you. Where's the fire? <laughs> it's, it's just a stone. <laughs> Empty shelves. Sure. Oh, so this is like gonna huh so this is like a place to tell if you like have all of the crafting recipes or not do you get a reward for having all of them i'd assume that's what like you know we reward knowledge with more knowledge would mean i haven't gotten too far into mountain climb so that would explain why i haven't completed that area yet Yeah, and this is the this is the academy. We got a few books here, or a few crafting recipes here. Advanced potion brewing. There are only two here. Oh. Oh my God, that's so cool. So there's rewards for putting those back. Life and death. Zombie plate. Oh, I sold my skull armor. And blessed crystal. We could probably make a new one, though. I gotta see what that does. Hold on. 
Okay, so I don't have all of the crafting recipes for that area yet. Oh, 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 I put those back in storage. That's why I don't have them. This library is amazing. I've never seen anything like it in my life. There are some empty shelves here. Maybe you can fill them yourself. Let's grab them real quick, and also if we have the materials, make another skull armor, because I really want to test, like, what these are. Wait, I... I did put them in, right? Um... Wait... I-I did store them in here, right? I know I did off-screen, because they're not in my inventory anymore. I hope I didn't lock myself out of, like, 100%ing the game because of that. Weird, okay, because it says here that, like, it's designed for you to put in recipe books so your, like, your menus don't get cluttered, and that's why I put it in. But then it also says don't put key items in, but recipe books are key items. Yeah, they're key items. Did I make a big mistake here? I'm not playing through the whole game again just to get them back. Uh, I guess I'm just not 100%ing the game then. Unless that's fixed off screen, or unless that's, that's fixed between this going up and me being the game or something. Huh. I might have to reach out to the dev about that one. Well, I won't be able to get another skull plate, and I won't be able to complete this, I guess. I would like to see what I... Oh, that's pretty good. Get a few of those. 50% counter. That's not bad. Fortunately, I don't- I won't be able to get Skull Armors anymore, so... <laughs> well, for now, though... God, that is really unfortunate. I'd, I'd need to reach out to the dev about that, because that's kind of weird. Um... Let's head back to the mountain climb and do this part. A dragon? Oh wait, I need to... L let me just, like, swap my equipment real quick. God, we have a lot of, like, different elemented stuff here. I see a lot of things weak to ice, though. And thunder. Okay, let's, let's, let's deal with that.
Oh yeah, we can finally use the thunderclap now. Let's give you the sword back. You're good with the staff. You see a beautiful bird with golden plumes in front of you. Uh, that is a red dragon. <laughs> Mortals, welcome to our land. You're a Garuda, aren't you? Why, yes, nice to see you, Karna. You feel strange. Oh, my child, you know what is happening in the world, don't you? You're corrupt, uh, corrupted, aren't you? Corrupted? That's what you call it? I'm just doing the deity's job, but better. Destruction, chaos, and rebirth, the endless cycle. Why are you trying to stop it? Nature's just taking back what is hers. Your destruction is mindless and unnatural. You will not let, uh, we will not let you keep this chaos any longer. Time to fall, giant chicken. Very well, let nature take its course. Okay, you're immune to that. Do you resist or absorb that? No, you don't. This'll kill the two smaller birds. Now, do they auto-revive like those, uh, those, um... No, they don't. So let's take this opportunity to scan you two. 150 health. Weak to thunder, water, and ice. Immune to confusion... Resist silence. Wait, no. Resist um, bleed, but cannot be. St um, resist bleed, but is not immune to it. Huh? Also, at the top, it just said Garuda. <laughs> This is going to be a weird gimmicky fight, isn't it? <laughs> How powerful is this regen? I'm gonna try this, too. I don't know how long that- Oh, that is not a very good regen! Oh, you're asleep. Huh, I thought I was gonna have to redo that fight, because that kind of got really rough for a minute. Also, did that, like, reshuffle our party permanently?
Wait, I thought only deities were being corrupted. Indeed we are. So you are a deity too. Well, not really. Our land works a little differently from, from the others. Let me explain. Our land has three deities. Vishnu, Brahma, and Shiva. But I am able to separate myself into many avatars. I am part of Vishnu, the preserver of the universe. When these monsters came from the stars, I divided myself into my avatar forms. Now I am sleeping, waiting to be awakened. To find me, you will need to find some of my avatars. Though not all of them will be necessary. Mighty Garuda, do you know where we could find your other avatars? They are spread out around the land. But Shiva and Brahma, well, that's a different story. Shiva locked himself... Isn't Shiva usually a woman? Actually, no, that's Final Fantasy. Admittedly, I'm not really sure what Shiva is based on, so... <laughs> in Naraka, our underworld, and Brahma's in Brahmapura, our heavenly abode. If you want to gain access to Brahmapura, Shiva and I can help you, but we will, we, you will need to make me whole again. Go north until you reach Mount Meru, if you want to know more. I'll be waiting for you there. Thank you for your guidance, Garuda. Agility potion. I'm not quite sure who I'd want who I'd want that on. Wow, so we have a whole new area to this one. Interesting. And there's a warp back as well. Also, what are you? Oh, I forgot how much I love the battle theme in this area. Oh, you are not the same gargoyle enemy from before. Oh, nice. Let's go back and heal real quick before we uh, we continue on with this area. So let me check something real quick. Uh, I want to check the developer's notes or what what he sent me. Huh, okay. It seems like we're coming up on the end pretty quickly. Hello again. So this is Mount Meru. What's so special about this place? This is the tallest mountain in existence, and I mean all of existence. Mount Meru is not just a physical location, it extends from the mortal plane to the spiritual plane. Its base starts at Naraka, and its peak reaches Brahmapura itself. And how can we get, uh, get to these places? It's not a matter of getting there, but being there. Thanks for the help. I mean, you can't go to the spiritual plane, you are already there, you just need to be there. I understand you are trying to aid us, so how would we be in the spiritual plane? You'd need to be dead. <laughs> a deity or extremely enlightened uh, to be able to reach the spiritual realm. Unlikely for you, Kar uh, Karna here is already one of these things. As a matter of fact, yes, I am a deity. Wait, really? No, not really, I'm actually dead. This is no time for joking. 
He wasn't joking. So you're dead. Yes. Anything else you'd like to add there? I guess I can explain it. I died when I was around 130. That was, I believe, 200 years ago. When you are devoted to Brahma and die, your destiny is not permanent. If you lived an honorable life, your soul waits, um, waits in the spiritual world in a, in, in, in a heavenly place called Zvarga. You know, okay, I've kind of, like, talked about this before in videos before. Now, I mentioned before that I don't really follow religion that well, but, like, one thing I notice that's, like, a common theme between all religions is that they always have, like, an incentive to be a good person, so something good happens to you after you die. You know, like, in Christianity, you go to heaven. In Buddhism, you become reincarnated in a more, in a more like, favorable scenario. Like, I don't know, like, it's... God, that, that's like a really valid reason to, to be religious, like, just wanting to be a good person so, like, you can have a better afterlife, you know? <laughs> if you haven't been a good person, your soul goes to Naraka to be tortured and punished for your crimes. But both of these desti uh, de destinies are temporary. After some time, you'll come back to the material plane. At least until our souls are liberated from the cycle and we, uh, we can be led to the side of the deities. So it's true, you remember everything. Yes, but why? Shouldn't my memory have been erased before I reincarnated? It should have been, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't your time yet. What do you mean? Due to this catastrophe, we had to pull you out in the middle of your cycle. That's why you retained your body and memories. Oh, right! Karna was like... Karna, like, wasn't human at the start of the game. He was like a, he was like a soul or something. I guess that explains that. So I shouldn't be here. Are you questioning us? Yes, fair enough, but sacrifices had to be made, and you were chosen for an important task. I understand. So Karna, can you take us to the spiritual realm? Yes, with a little help of me, from me. Now Karna can take you to the spiritual realm. Don't you mean he can be with us in the, spir in the spiritual realm? I like her. You just need to find a portal. They are spread all around our land. Hey Karna, now that you have access to the spiritual plane, I can teach you how to focus your energy through it. What do you mean? Take this. What is this? With this stone, you can canalize your soul and use it to attack. Your soul doesn't obey the laws of this plane, so your physical attack can hit enemies' magical defenses and vice versa. Try using it like this. If you travel through the spiritual realm, I know you can make your spirit stronger. Thank you, mighty Garuda. We must we must thank you. You are saving the world after all. I'll do my best your aunt to honor your choices. I can still give you guys some of my power. It's nothing fancy like the other deities since we are just avatars, but there are more of us, so in the end you'll get more adva adva advantages. My wind current will grant you a boost to of 10 to your agility. Talk to me again if you want to learn it. That sounds like something I would like on David. He's kind of meant to be fast. Cool, okay. Oh wait, no, that was a permanent ability. I, you know, that's fine anyway, I kind of like that too. Karna learned two new skills. Wait, what? Do I need a certain weapon to do it? Eh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> now what kind of portals are you talking about? Do you mean like these white barriers we've been seeing on occasion? No. 
Huh, okay. I don't remember seeing a portal anywhere. I remember seeing those barriers in various places, but... Hmm. You know, I think I'll leave it off here. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'll ask the dev, like, maybe what I'm supposed to be doing next. Thanks for watching.